the hockey community just downsized by more than half from AAA to junior hockey. So for you to be there, you're no longer the top dog. You are now bottom of the barrel. How should you handle disappointment in junior hockey? Oh boy, you better be ready for this one. Welcome back to another AHA video. Today we're talking about junior hockey and how to handle disappointments because I promise you, you will have them. Your expectations are too high going into junior hockey and you're about to hit a wall. So mom, dad, player, goalie, get ready. Junior hockey is a lot crazier than you think. Now, it's a necessary evil if you want to get to college unless you're a superstar player. And yes, I mean an actual superstar player. So junior hockey, why is it difficult? Why does everybody hit that wall? Because most players getting to junior hockey were a top player in their trip a team or sometimes in their double a team and they're all excited they're playing junior a hockey in a great league ojhl cchl ajhl bchl nahl usp uh, ushl sorry ncdc all the top leagues and they're playing there guess what those leagues have the best of the best the hockey community just downsized by more than half from triple a to junior hockey so for you to be there you're no longer the top dog you are now bottom of the barrel like all the other rookies unless you're a superstar again now a lot of players struggle with the fact that they used to play 35 minutes a game and when the coach met with him he's like yeah you're gonna be on my first line you're gonna be on my power play you're gonna be getting 15 20 minutes a game truth is you will not be getting that and not because the coach hates you or because he lied to you but because when he saw you play that's what he expected out of you now the issue is when you played with the junior hockey level players the guys that are two to three steps ahead of you you did not perform the way you did when you played a triple a you didn't train hard enough you got scared can't adapt to the new speed you're struggling with the coach's systems whatever the reason might be it is not an attack that the coach hates you it is not an attack that the coach lied to you and he tricked you into signing with him and it's not that the coach doesn't care about you you just didn't adapt you didn't fit into the system and i'm not saying 100 percent of the time because there are certain situations that are exceptions and that world will not go into that but for most cases player just isn't ready for that big of a jump you hit that wall that 95 percent of rookies hit it's a different game you need to adapt quickly you need to get used to those bigger bodies you got to put in 10 times more work and you got to make sure that you're working with the coach so you learn his system because if you don't learn his system you're not going to play it's that simple this isn't minor hockey anymore where everybody plays and this isn't minor hockey where the coach takes the time to adapt with you because in junior hockey their job is to win yes to win so that means you need to perform you need to put in the work and perform so again how to deal with the disappointment there's a few ways you can look at it you can be most players that turn around and complain to mom and dad and mom and dad calls the coach and makes the situation worse or the co the player puts his head down and just complains and doesn't work harder and has a bad attitude in the room and everybody in the room doesn't want him in there and i'm speaking that because there's a lot of players that do that and it's not fun or you can put your head down and get to work go up to coach coach i understand that right now i'm on the fourth line or i'm a healthy scratch i'd really love to be more consistent in the lineup and more consistent on the ice now what can I work on I feel like I've been struggling with the systems are we on the same page with what I'm missing are you telling me that I'm struggling defensively you're telling me I need to produce more offensively I used to put up two goals a game and now I haven't scored I understand coach let me put in more work and a lot of times with junior teams you guys have a lot of extra ice a lot of it so put use that extra ice be the first one on the ice be the last one off the ice do extra video sessions with the assistant coaches understand what you're missing to get to that next level stop complaining stop finding a new team right away stop demanding to find a new team right away you're in that situation you got to be in it for a few months it looks terrible if you made a team and two weeks later you're looking for a new team it looks terrible it means you're not willing to battle you're not willing to deal with conflict or with feedback you're not willing to deal with any type of difficulties getting to play junior hockey getting to play college hockey or pro hockey these are normal steps you need to go through the difficulties every single time it is very normal for players that played 30 minutes a game to be down to five or six minutes a game it is a process one step at a time so like i said you're not playing as much as you'd like not a problem don't go complain to coach coach i'd like to get more ice time i understand i need to earn it what do i need to do what do you think i'm missing i feel like i've adapted to our concepts pretty well are we on the same page in agreement no okay what can i do differently i feel like i've been
been doing pretty well defensively. Is it because I'm not producing offensively? Is that why I'm on the fourth line, not the second line? Have an adult conversation with him. He will treat you like a pro and an adult as long as you respond in an adult fashion. Talk to him. Talk to your advisor. I feel like I'm struggling. Okay, did you talk to coach? No. Okay, are you watching video? Yeah. Well, okay, maybe talk to coach and watch the video with coach, not just on your own. Because you might be one-sided thinking, I'm a goal scorer. Well, guess what? You might have been in AAA. You might not be in junior hockey. He might have a different role for you in the team and you have to learn that the big thing to focus on is your attitude disappointment in junior hockey happened to everybody when i was a first year junior hockey when i was a rookie a 17 year old goalie i came in thinking that i was going to dominate the league i strongly believed that i was going to be the best goalie in the league and that i was going to play 35 40 games that season i played 15 games out of 75 games i was a backup to the best goalie in canada this man making 40 45 saves a game keeping us in and winning us incredible hockey games there was no chance i was going to be a starter over him in my 15 games Games, I have 13 wins, one tie, and one loss. So I did super well as a rookie and I had great numbers, but I was a rookie. I could not have carried the team on my back, could not have performed consistently for 40 games, did not understand the expectations, the work ethic, the dedication, the amount of extra hours that needed to go in to be at that level. So understand that there's a process because my second year, I now played 30 games. My third year, I played 50. There is a process to it all. There might be a two, three year plan and not a six month plan. Picture your junior journey as a staircase. If you try to jump three or four steps, you will fall and break your face and fall down and go back right to square one, if not further down. But if you take it one step at a time and you get the help that is needed, your coach, your veterans on the team, hey, I see you're doing this in games. You're scoring a lot of goals. Can you teach me? You're putting that extra work at the gym, taking it one step at a time. I promise you things will change. One of my teammates, Maxim Chagnon, he played three years of college, four years of college for said junior triple a hockey or junior a hockey in quebec and then went on to play university of Qu uh, quebec three rivers unbelievable hockey player we were rookies together the same year in junior hockey he was cut in training camp let me rephrase that let me repeat that he was cut in training camp he asked the coach can i stay for the extra ice time please i understand i'm not making this team but i would like to stay just for extra skates it'll help me it's competitive hockey coach agreed because he goes you know what that's a very great way to take it come the end of tryouts he had done so well with the best of the best we kept him as an extra forward he was our 12th 13th forward something like that because we had five lines after six games in the season he was now a regular on the fourth line come the end of the season in playoffs he was the center on the third line playing 20 minutes a game because nobody could score against his line so the first and second line played almost the second line played less than the third line because that third line was unscorable he was blocking everything clearing the puck doing what he had to do come his final season he was one of the top point guys on the team he adapted over time and understood his role. This is how he dealt with the disappointment of getting cut. He took it as an adult, understand that there's, need, there's areas of his game that need to be improved and moved on from there. And that's the same thing that goes at all levels. You need to understand that there's a reason you're not where you are right now. And it's not because somebody has it out for you. It's not because your advisor didn't do the job. It's not because mom and dad didn't pay enough. It's none of those reasons. There's something in your game that needs to adapt, that needs to change. And everybody goes through this. Every single player goes through this. Take it one step at a time and understand understand that disappointment just leads to a future success as long as you're willing to put in the work junior hockey is a very difficult journey could be very very memorable and you could have a great time doing it learning unbelievable skills both on and off the ice that you can take into your everyday life don't waste that chance you are lucky to be there and enjoy every second you get to be on that team in that league thank you guys for watching another video we appreciate all your support like and subscribe and stay tuned for what's coming